It's so pretty. This this lighting, this atmosphere is so nice. Well, the bathrooms are still kind of nasty. They should clean them. It wouldn't even take that much work. Are we just gonna leave and go to the bus or something? Is this just gonna inexplicably be the ending of the game? So, young lady, you decided to play hooky again. Come to my office later, don't you forget. When the strict teacher left the room, the girl was all alone. This room? Nope, this is a hallway. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, do I have a map of this place? I think I do. It's just probably in the trash. Reception room, okay. This where he wanted me? Ooh, lollipop. Neat. Headmaster's room, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to him. Dirt is rich. <laughs> Why are you always trying to get out of work? Can't you do okay. your job like all the other children? Is that all I gotta say to me? You're still here. Run along and help the others with their cleaning. Do I make myself clear? Sure. Uh, sure do, buddy. Alright, uh, is there anything else to do here? Probably not. It just leads back there. Down here. Can't go down this way. Can go down here. Oh! <laughs> Amber asks, is there a gramophone in every room playing the same song? I assume it's just going through their sound system, which is extremely advanced for 1930. Or whenever... <laughs> whenever it is exactly this flashback takes place. Uh, okay, do I just go out? Not sure. Is this the... Hmm. That's outside. Oh, and this is the area at the start of the game where they, like, quote, unquote, ooh, what's that? Buried us, I guess? Animal bone? Interesting. I'm slowly remembering the layout of this place. The sloppy prince glanced away from the girl as if tiring of an old toy. No matter how kindly she smiled, she was all alone. What a poor, unlucky girl. The gluttonous prince glanced away from the girl as if served cold soup for supper. No matter how hard she cried, she was all alone. What a poor, unlucky girl. <laughs> okay. Ah. 
getting stuck on geometry. Oops. What's that? Jennifer picked up the crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, liar. Alrighty. What is this place? I don't have a map of this place yet, do I? Oh, I do! Oh, perfect. I did not realize I had one. Where are we going? <laughs> What's in there? That's the dining room. Check that place out real quick if it... Oh, okay, it doesn't let us. Uh, we've already been out there. Is there a door back here? Doki. Are we just trying to look for other kids right now? Or is this? What's here? Cell of Remorse. It's like a punishment room or something. Like this. There are many empty cases. Names are written on the tags. Meg, Diana, Nicholas. What's that on the floor? Dog food? Oh, how pleasant. Yes. <laughs> Lumberjack axe. Okay. Uh... <laughs> There's an adult's bicycle, it's covered in dust. Interesting. This music is starting to grate on me significantly. Gardening tools are neatly arranged, they seem well maintained. Kettle says, I just know she's going to try stabbing with the axe. And Jimmy says, I, knowing Jennifer, she probably used the blunt end of the axe to fight enemies. I was, I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> There's nothing else down here. Oh, the camera angles swapping like this is so irritating when you don't have tank controls. I know I've said it a thousand times, but it drives me mad that this game doesn't have tank controls. Cell of pleasure? Ooh. Film projector is broken. Okay. Well, fuck you too, I guess. I don't think there's anything up here. Up here? Down here. Cell of bliss. Ooh, what's this? There are creepy looking dolls lying around. They frighten Jennifer. But that's where all the enemies come from, I guess. What does this say? The texture is high enough quality that I can read it, but I don't know exactly what it is. I need to get really close to my screen. Comes and quum comes a dwarf comes. Come and come a dwarf come. The dwarf behind you now, now, it's the time of cleaning up. I will tidy up to a dark place. Whatever you say, man. <laughs> no idea what that means, but we'll take it. Okay, I guess there's just nothing down here other than that stuff. Jimmy says cleaning up dwarf what? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> uh... Shoot, did I already, I already tried to go there. What's in here? Hallway. Uh, let's try all the doors, I guess. Kitchen. Is that Wendy? Dude, she's gonna drop like hot spaghetti on herself. Wee, 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 wee. Oh, it's the crying girl. Even though the girl tried to comfort her, the tearful princess cried even more. 
In the end, the girl was all alone. What a fragile, unlucky girl. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Well. Why are they throwing notes at us? Can't they just communicate? Jennifer picked up a crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, poor Mr. Joshua. Sure. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Is there anything in here? I think we're just looking for the other kids, right? Like, that's gotta be pretty much all it is. Trying to see what they have to say to us. <laughs> just coming out here just to make sure there isn't other stuff. Toilet, probably don't need to go in there. All right, we'll just go up, I guess, why not? Upstairs again, I guess. Uh, hmm. Ah, the camera, the controls keep tweaking out. I wasn't even trying to go in that door. What the heck? <laughs> The character's animations are extremely uh, pathologic, <laughs> like the original, like classic HD. No matter what the unlucky girl said to her, the strong-willed princess would only gaze lethargically. The sleeper awake, the girl was alone, but a sad unlucky girl. <laughs> Yeesh. So we're obviously seeing like the, at least a more realistic uh, memory of like what this place is actually like. Jennifer picked up a crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, apologize by dying. Okay, I guess I will, sheesh. Right here? Okay, that led not the direction I thought it did. Okay, this is the area we came from. Don't think there's anything there. Who are we looking for still? Jennifer, not Jennifer, Amanda. We're looking for Amanda. Um, the bird girl, Eleanor, I think. Where else? Who else are we looking for? Okay, this is this is this one, so let's just lead us back to this hallway. Maybe we'll go up this way. Did I already try to go into these rooms? Sewing room. Nope, guess not. There's Amanda, as expected. She's gonna sew over her finger and it's gonna hurt. The behavior of the small-hearted princess concentrating on her chores seemed forced and unnatural. The unlucky girl became sad, and then she was alone again. What a hapless, unlucky girl. Okay, we're gonna get another note thrown at us. Yep. Jennifer picked up the crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, you get what you deserve. Well, yeesh. Library. Oh, this is going to be where the snooty girl is. Oh, both of them are here. Yay. Uh, cool. So that means what kids are we missing now? I think these might be the last two, right? Look. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> Ren says, girl, whatever, they don't even like you, but you have a dog that's way cooler than everyone who hates you. Oh no, everyone here wants me dead and doesn't want to talk to me. Talk to your girl, talk to your dog, girl, that's your friend. It's true. The two princesses didn't let the unlucky girl join their conversation. Wherever she went, she was all alone. What a lonely, unlucky girl. Bullying so bullying is so rough. Look at this. Okay. Um okay, so they're not gonna they're just not gonna participate with me. What is on the cover of that book? Very interesting. Oh, I thought the music was over and I was so excited. What's this one say? Ah, pick it up. Jennifer picked up a crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, Beggar plus thief, terrible Jennifer. What? <laughs> okay. And we just go through here now. Rear stairway. <laughs> Amber Lyons says, Imagine getting roasted by 10 year olds. For real? Can I go in here? Play area. Oh, this annoying kid. The arrival station of the mischievous princess train did not have the girl's name on it. Left behind, she was all alone. What an unfortunate girl. Okay. Minced pie. Okay, excellent. We love that. I'm super happy about getting all these uh, healing items. Drumstick? There's a drumstick in this game? <laughs> this is very sudden to get introduced to an entirely new type of uh, item. Not that comment says howdy toaster. Hey, comment, how you doing? I got floor chicken. This is a real Castlevania game now. Uh, can't go in there. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, I don't know. Where'd it land? What the? There it is. Jennifer picked up a crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, Jennifer the Thief. Okay. Uh, hmm. Where is this? Wait, were we? Is this the hallway we were already in? Oh no, I'm a little bit lost. Let's see. This is not gonna help. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, I guess we'll just check one of these rooms. Sick bay. Okay. The frightened princess would not face the unlucky girl for some reason. Today, the day after, and on, she was all alone. What an unhappy lucky girl. Okay. Unlucky girl, I should say. Not lucky. Okay, can't go up this way. Tara. Ew, don't make her slide past you, you weirdo. Ugh. We go in there now. Look, there's some dust over here. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh Ah, ah, <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, that was just the room. A balcony. Oh, it's Eleanor, I think is her name. All right, geez. No matter what the unlucky girl said to her, the cold princess simply stared up into the sky. 
The poor unlucky girl realized that she was all alone. Okay. Wait, was there another door at the end here? There was not. <laughs> Amber says, I was gonna say, you'd think after your eighth baghead child that you'd get pretty decent at stabbing things. Nope, she's terrible at it. Practice does not make perfect in her case. Jennifer picked up the crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, come to the hall. With the area we started at. We'll probably make that happen. That was back here, right? It can't go there. Oh, I was going the wrong way anyway. All right, perfect. Uh, I think this will exit us back to the hall. Cutscene. Boys and girls, cleaning time is over. Waste paper should go in the rubbish bin, and washing should go into the filth room. Are the rooms all Who calls the laundry room the filth room? Like, who does that? That's a red flag. Doke. We can do that. <laughs> this month's gift, filthy Jennifer. What? to give ourselves up or did we just win by by just showing up Jen's about to rose all over the place. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah! Ah! Can I go in here? I cannot. There's a save point. <laughs> Very nice. We'll save really quickly again, just so that we don't need to wait for the cutscene to load next time, if we die. All right. Oh, November, so this takes place after the other one. Interesting. I was looking at our map. I guess, yeah, I guess there's a side door right here we can go in. Oh, this is just the women's bathroom. This is not helpful. This is the opposite of helpful. Huh. Okay, can't go through that door. Can I go here? I can. 
Okay. Ooh. Headmaster's room. Don't care. Can't go through there. Can't go in here. Can't go in here. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, come on. Get off me. Come on. Get off me. All right, we can go here. Rear stairway. Can't go in that door, obviously. Oop. Oh no, are we gonna get Resident Evil 1? Endy. Okay, but we can't go outside right here. The rat stands in your way. What? The pig stands in my way. Oh fuck. The goat stands in your way. Am I gonna have to kill, like, enemies or something? I really don't want to do with that. <laughs> ah! Kitchen. Okay, so this is a fight room. Great. Oh my god. I thought I didn't have my cleaver and I was so scared. Okay, this is a rat. Hey, quit it. Die. Knock him over. There we go. Oh, okay. So we do need to kill six enemies. Hmm. Another meat cleaver. That's bad, because that means it did a lot more damage to us than normal. Can I equip this? Looks like I can. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, what's in here? Martha's room. Ooh! Beef jerky. That didn't look like jerky. That just looked like a, like, chuck. <laughs> like, literally just a piece of meat. Alright, uh, where do we go then? Uh, alright, so we got that one done. I wish the map was marked. Wash house. There's nothing in here. Can I go outside here? I not. Look at that texture. <laughs> Bathroom. Oh. Oh, these are fish people. We don't need to kill fish. Screw dealing with them, those things are annoying. It looks like she does, in fact, swing the axe correctly, which is very nice. It is a relief. Man men's lavatory. All right, I don't want to go in here. Ren says, we found the one thing she's good at. Yeah, axe murder. Honestly? Didn't have to think hard to predict that one. Probably could have guessed that one. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. These are, what, they throw chairs at me? Oh, God, there's so many of them. None of these are goats, which is annoying. It does kill enemies quickly, though. I do like the axe for that. <laughs> this is a powerful weapon. We, I dig that. Give ourselves a little. 
Uh, where do we want to go? Maybe the second floor? I guess we're trying to just find out. Oh my god. No way. Do I have to kill one of these things? Because I don't, I don't think those things are killable, are they? These things do so much damage, and I've never been able to kill one. There we go. Oh my god. We just had to deal damage to it. Okay, well that was annoying. Did, did we already go in here? Hallway. I'm, like, terrified of this. Ugh. Okay, we're back here. Um... We just go back here now? Nope. Dear lord. Okay. Oh, another pig, though. This is good. <laughs> And a goat. This is very good. Because these are the ones we have to kill, right? Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so we got rid of a, a pig. Ow, fuck off. Don't swing a scythe at me. What are you doing? Hi already. Alright. So now we just gotta kill one more of each. How's our health doing? Pretty low. All right, um. All right, which way do I wanna go? I kinda wanna go upstairs. So that's here, I think. I think we already explored like all the ways we could go in the, um, the other hallway. <laughs> Amber says, nothing a little bit of beef jerky in the floor couldn't fix. I agree. Uh, let's see. Ah! Alright. Uh, where am I going? This was the creepy room, wasn't it? Fuck, I wish they were labeled. Um, I, I'm not going in that room because we already picked up all the items in it. I don't think that there's anything else there, so. Ah, oh, so many of them. The fish are so annoying. What's in here? Balcony. Oh yeah, this is the balcony. Uh. Uh, nope, we're not gonna deal with that. No way. Hey, I don't remember where we are. <laughs> I don't remember what would be beneficial for us to play around with. There we go. Uh, here? This is the sewing, no, this is the sick room, okay. Oh, and this looks like the spooky room that we fought the mermaid in. It's all a metaphor. Okay, uh, what's in here? It's another hallway, okay. Okay, okay, bye-bye, okay, bye-bye. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> No, don't stomp. I want to attack. There we go. Go away. Go away. Big AoE. This axe is a godsend for that. Ouch. Don't headbutt me. Oh. Jim says, sorry, Toaster, gotta get some sleep. Well, I hope you have a, uh, hope you have a nice evening. Okay. Uh, what now? Hmm. Okay. Oh, are we, I'm just realizing the different animals are, uh, these are the rooms that all the kids were in, right? Am I, am I losing it? This is where Amanda was, so is this gonna be a fight? Yep, it is. Look at that, I'm smart. Oh, I thought I died for a second and was, like, about to lose my mind. <laughs> ah. Oh, don't get up over here. That's better. So yes, we will axe murder Amanda. I hope this is what this game was leading up to the whole time. Oh, the half biscuit is just a you. I thought it was going to be food. Mince pie is such a good healing item. No. There we go. Whew. All right, so now we just have to go into the library? Right? Kill the last two. We didn't need to kill Eleanor because she was the she was a bird. She wasn't a goat. So do we just go in here? Is this where it was? Uh I don't remember. It is. Okay. Let's get him. Let's kill some. Amber says, I'm off as well. Found oh, you found my channel through my YouTube. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by. This will go live on YouTube eventually. <laughs> we're, we're booked out for basically the rest of the year, uh, but it should be, should be up on YouTube eventually. Hello to all the YouTube watchers. You can always uh, watch us live as we record stuff on Twitch. I stream every day. And as a result, things are paced out quite a bit. Just to date the recording process, I guess, I, I'll say that it is November 25th today. <laughs> so whatever time you're watching this now on YouTube in Vaudland, uh, that's how long it takes for things to get to get uploaded. Or, I mean, I upload them usually right after the stream, but that's how long it takes for them to air. Oh, hell yeah. Rear, rear stairway. Okay, we can go, we can go back downstairs now. Kettle says it's not November. Oh, sorry, September 25th. Whatever. I I had the... I, I meant... You know what I meant. It's September 25th, everyone. So it's even further back. All right. Hmm. 
Why is she like brown? So this is your new friend, huh? It's so filthy, but adorable. Oh yes, Jennifer, there will be an aristocrat club meeting after this. Today will be the most wonderful day. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Amberline says, I thought whatever you were crunching on was an in-game sound effect. No, I'm eating my dinner <laughs> while I play. Oh, what was that? That just flashed right by. Okay, the funeral. Oop. Once upon a time, a girl found a hole in the ground in the yard. The little people came out and told her the news. Today is the day of your funeral. If you don't like it, then you must sacrifice your friend who wants to be buried alive. So the girl did what she had to and buried her best friend. Well, I wouldn't want to be her best friend. Huh? When the girl finished reading the storybook, the dreadful imps had all vanished. And even her dearest friend is nowhere to be found. Huh? Oh, and Wendy's gone. Is everything just... Everything just back to normal now? And the girl thought she heard the cries of her friend calling for help. Uh, he's either in the basement or he's upstairs. Okay, no, he's upstairs. This time the girl was certain, something, something. The text flashes so fast. There he is. It's not the girl's dear friend. W what happened to him? Was he... Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was a nervous wreck. Okay. Huh. Do I have to go in any of these? Attic storage. It's a dried flower wreath and a slip of paper. Won't let me read it? Okay. Jimmy said, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? Where the dog at? Um... Do we just go down here? Oh, the aristocrat club door was up here, wasn't it? Is that what we're looking for? I'm surprised it's just letting us go into all these storage rooms. The girl could hear her friend calling for help from behind the door. Strange tools with fresh blood splattered on them are lying on the table. That's no bueno. It was not the girl's dear friend this time either. Something terrible has happened to him. Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was a nervous wreck. Here we go. This month's gift, Filthy Brown. Oh dear, oh no. Huh. Wendy. Okay. Your friend is in the bag. It's too late now. Wow. <gasps> Jeez, Amanda. Bedside manner.
Oh, look. My Little friend. Jen. Give me back my friend. <laughs> nice. Nailed it. Fuck her up, Jen. Fucking kill her. Never forgive you. Not ever. And as for the rest of you, how could you believe all those lies? Aristocrats! You're just the opposite. I hate you, and I hate you, and you! And I hate myself the very most for playing your stupid games and not having the strength to stand up to you! It's all just hideous! Tear her eyes out, Jen. <laughs> but Joshua was just a teddy bear. <laughs> Jimmy says, get the axe, Jennifer. Damn straight. Justifiable axe murder. We love it. It's our favorite here. <laughs> 